COVID-19 remains an ongoing health concern for all of us. And a 24 year old from Knoxville knows firsthand the severity of it. Here is 10 News anchor Russell Biven with his story. In April of this year, the coronavirus spread through most of the Dalton family. Everybody except for my dad. Most had minor symptoms and were fine. That was not the case for former CAK and college football player Patrick Dalton. And it got to the point where I thought I needed to go to the hospital, and I'm glad I did because I really needed to. On Easter, the 24-year-old was transferred from Tanova at Turkey Creek to St. Thomas West in Nashville. He was in a coma, and his prognosis wasn't good. There were a couple times where we, we thought we were not ever going to see him again. I prayed a lot. Uh, I prayed I wouldn't be a widow at 23. <laughs> in what doctors called a last-ditch effort, they put the Knoxville native on ECMO, an intrusive machine that basically does the work of the heart and the lungs. His, his vitals got under control really quickly on ECMO. These are people who sent their, um, sent their support physically. As people from all over the world began to hear his story, the support was beyond measure. It, it, it was just overwhelming. Um, and some of, the, some of the cards from people that I don't know were just so sweet and really helped. I mean, when I was still in the hospital, they would FaceTime me and read off some of the cards. And it really helped. After 42 days away from family and friends, oh, they're on their way. Patrick was finally released from the hospital. <laughs> I started crying as soon as I saw all the nurses and doctors lining up. <laughs> and just being able to see them again was incredible. It was something I'll, probably, I'll never forget. Patrick says his faith also played a huge role in his recovery, and the experience changed his perspective forever. While people are still out of work, and at home, spend time with your family. Yeah. Even if it's just watching a movie together. Russell Biven, 10 News. How about that sentiment? lessons from that young man. When he's back to 100%, he does plan to jump back into the workforce, and we certainly wish him well and his family well.